And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, happy Sunday to everybody out there. Today's going to be a pretty similar day to what we saw yesterday. It's going to be pretty dry uh, during the daytime hours. Now, I can't rule out a weak storm here and there, a straight sprinkle at that, but most of the storm activity should be limited toward the late evening into the early night hours and limited toward the western part of the area, kind of like what we saw last night. If you were watching the 10 o'clock show, a few scattered showers and weak storms over toward the New Mexico counties, up toward Cimarron County as well in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Probably the same case for today, but not really as hot, only topping out right around 81 or 80 two degrees uh, for a high, but it is still going to be breezy. Sustained winds at about 15 to 25 miles per hour during the daytime. Winds will calm tonight and then they're going to pick right back up going into tomorrow. Now tomorrow, the main difference will be a lot higher of a storm chance for more of the area. Line of storms looks to push through tomorrow evening into early tomorrow night. High of right around 80 degrees and like I said, winds still at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. So in more detail, this is what we can expect for today. Like I said, stray sprinkle here and there, a mix of sun and clouds. Then you start to see the storms enter the New Mexico counties over toward the west end, really staying confined over toward New Mexico and the western Texas panhandle. And then as we're waking up tomorrow, maybe a little bit of some overcast conditions. Now, I do want to mention specifically talking about the severe chance for tomorrow. This is really important. You see here that this specific model run showing a bit of some overcast conditions. That would be very vital in hindering the severe chances for tomorrow. If there's not as much sun poking through the clouds, then the air is not going to be quite as unstable, and that's going to lower those severe chances for tomorrow night. But if we see a little bit more in the way of some sunshine, that'll give us some more daytime heating, and it's going to give us some quote-unquote more juice uh, for the the atmosphere, the technical term for it uh, that we call it in the weather world is CAPE. It's basically just a measure of energy. Uh, kind of measuring how unstable the atmosphere is. But by about 8 or 9 o'clock, you see a very organized line of storms trying to form and push through the panhandle. Now, as you see, it does dissipate a little bit as it heads toward the eastern part of the area. But like I said, a lot more people will have the opportunity to see uh, rain in their hometowns tomorrow. Now, the Severe Center has issued a slight risk for severe weather on Monday. So a few of these storms could indeed be very strong. Talking about some very gusty winds and maybe some moderate sized hail as well. So tune in to News Channel 10 and we'll keep you updated on that. So Given about a 60% chance of storms tomorrow, feeling very confident that a uh, good, good amount of people will see rain in their hometowns. Not as high for Tuesday, only about 30%, but their air will be unstable on Tuesday, so there would be a good bit of a severe risk on Tuesday as well. And then still feeling confident that we'll see a cold front come through Tuesday night, uh, bringing down temperatures for the rest of the week. 10% chance of a stray storm on Wednesday, but other than that, looking like a dry end of the week and weekend.